It's Saturday, January 3rd, 2026. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Increased activity across the Caribbean, back through Central America, uh, throughout Mexico, with earthquakes the last few days. And if there's additional updates to be put out, if you're subscribed to this channel, you'll get those notifications first. Know that I'm watching all of this behind the scenes. But if there's any more shaking or significant aftershocks, I'll let you know right away in a new video. This one yesterday afternoon, right near Dominica, Martinique, and St. Lucia, felt in Guadalupe. Guadalupe. 5.5 in magnitude, rather shallow, not too deep. With that, that means a lot of us did feel it 56 kilometers down or 35 miles down. So again, this one yesterday afternoon, let me know in the comments if you did feel this one. We haven't seen any really additional activity after this. No big reports of damage. That's some good news with that one. This one, however, that happened yesterday morning, a bigger one, 6.5 in magnitude, also rather shallow, 35 kilometers down or 22 miles down makes sense the shallower they are and if they're strong more likely you will feel it this one right near Acapulco uh, last check there were two deaths reported with this there were uh, uh, some injuries I think there was about uh, 12 to about uh, 16 injuries on my last check with this earthquake this one there was some damage in some spots uh, aftershocks with this will be a possibility over the next couple of days so keeping an eye on that and overall there's been a little uptick in this and sometimes we see this you could see over the last three days the ones from yesterday this one and this one but there have been some additional quakes at about four to five in magnitude one just to the north of puerto rico and the dominican republic one near the abc islands parts of venezuela and uh, colombia and then this one near nicaragua honduras and el salvador these are uh, typical this is a hot spot where there's usually a lot of quakes of about about three to four in magnitude near Haiti, the Dominican Republic, and Puerto Rico. But you see overall some of the uh, extra activity the last few days. But these two in particular uh, that we've been seeing, and the two from yesterday, uh, convergent plane boundaries, not only does uh, just strength and if they're shallow, the depth matter, but also the type of um, plate boundary. These are co convergent. The one in Mexico, you had one plate going underneath another. Those typically lend themselves to some stronger earthquakes. Uh, so those boundaries are typically uh, typically uh, lend itself to stronger earthquakes versus transform or uh, divergent ones, ones that kind of slide or kind of move apart. These are plates that are colliding. And again, the depth does matter how you feel it. Uh, it lends itself to additional uh, damage. Uh, the ones from yesterday, both on the shallower side, zero to 70 kilometers down or zero to 40 miles down. And again, know that I'm watching this uh, throughout the day. I keep an eye on this activity. If need be, uh, we'll put out an additional uh, video. Now, watching some heavy areas of rain, Jamaica in particular, I was highlighting this yesterday. We're going to see some moisture that's going to be pulling in. There's actually a system working its way through the southeast U.S. That's going to help kind of draw in some moisture. These fronts that pass by Bermuda, the tail end of it kind of grabs some moisture. So let me start with this. Here's a look at Jamaica the next few days, today and tomorrow in particular. And just like I was showing you yesterday, you see a lot of blue on the map, but also some white. The white would be over 100 millimeters of rain. And this is a computer model. It just gives us a feel of what the atmosphere may do. So this white shading could very well be on top of Jamaica, or it could be just off toward the west, east, we'll see. But there's a lot of available moisture around. So much of Jamaica, anywhere from 25 millimeters up to 100 millimeters of rain just really over the next uh, two to three days on top of what we had yesterday. Thank you for leaving your comments. We had flooding in spots yesterday, and I do expect more the next couple of days. Of course, this is in the wake of Melissa. A lot of homes, many, many homes uh, without roofs, so additional rain. While uh, many spots need rain just because we need to get some rain for uh, fill up the cisterns and that sort of thing, obviously it's compounded with uh, additional problems in Jamaica in the wake of uh, Melissa. There's some of the rain from today into tomorrow. There's the front draped through the southern Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, uh, back through eastern Cuba. Not as much Haiti, but a little bit more Jamaica with additional rain uh, from today into tomorrow. This here is on Monday as the front pulls away near Puerto Rico. Anguilla, Antigua, and Barbuda. Still some spotty showers around. So even as we work our way into Monday, we're going to see that chance of rain and still some scattered areas of rain for Jamaica as we work our way into Tuesday. Hit or miss elsewhere. We'll watch out for some spotty showers of the uh, tail ends of uh, fronts moving by uh, the Bahamas. And then kind of hit or miss Panama and uh, Costa Rica. Some spots, not a lot, where we actually need to get some of the rain. Some spots in the Eastern Caribbean, some water restrictions in place at this point. 
point. So some of us getting too much, others too little, and that's what we'll be tracking. So later today, here's this system, Florida, Georgia, uh, North and South Carolina. You see some of that additional rain that moves across to Bermuda. Bermuda, high chance of rain tomorrow. Then tomorrow night, this area eclipsed by the Atlantic region of Canada with some of the snow for uh, Newfoundland, watching the Avalon Peninsula. But as this front moves by, it just kind of draws in some of that moisture, watching that. And then, of course, the west coast of the U.S., parts of British Columbia, a very active pattern. But these fronts move by and it helps kind of draw in some moisture from the Caribbean. Now, as far as the seas go, the Gulf, not bad. Same thing in the Caribbean. Northern Gulf, a bit choppier, but with that new area that is coming off the southeast coast of the U.S., that'll give us higher seas as we work our way into the Atlantic. This is uh, tomorrow. Here's Bermuda, <coughs> excuse me, southeast coast of the U.S. You see some of that yellow in there. That's about three and a half meters, so we're looking over 10 feet in spots. <coughs> 10 to about 12 feet with some of those offshore waters monitoring that. But overall, even into Monday, the Caribbean and the uh, Gulf, not a whole lot. It's really over toward Bermuda with some of those higher seas as those fronts continue to pass by to the north. So as far as rain goes, you see parts of Georgia, North Florida, not as much Central and South Florida, but you could see a few spots that get an inch or two of some rain just as that area leaves. But as it leaves, it draws in more moisture. And of course, earlier I was highlighting this around Jamaica. Cayman Islands, most of this action staying off to the east, clipping by eastern Cuba. I'm watching the southern Bahamas and Turks and Caicos, we'll have a few spots of 75 millimeters of rain. Again, a little bit more in some spots in Jamaica, but we'll be seeing some of that over toward the southern Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, and then clipping by parts of Haiti and the uh, DR where we could have some spots over 25 millimeters of rain. Same thing, getting brushed by some showers the next couple of days with the tail ends of fronts moving by British and U.S. Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, and Guilas. Martin, St. Bart's, Antigua, Barbuda, Sebastatia, St. Kitts and Nevis, mainly Montserrat to the north, slightly better chance. Little pocket there of some showers possible, though. Watching Guadeloupe and uh, Dominica. Martinique south, though, this is where it's been drier, and we're going to keep an eye out for those drought conditions. Watching Barbados, Grenada, St. Vincent de Grenadine, St. Lucia, Trinidad and Tobago, Guyana, and Suriname, northern and central Suriname, some of that rain working in. Watching some spots, Costa Rica and Panama to the north, not as much. Belize kind of hit or miss. Uh, rain chances low. Mexico City swinging back toward Texas, uh, generally on the uh, dry side. Here's the rain and snow west coast of the U.S. And here's that new system that is sliding by the southeast U.S. that will bring some snow up toward parts of Canada. So today and tomorrow, a 60% chance of rain. Please be mindful of that in Jamaica. Some spots, really not a whole lot, but other areas may see a, a additional rain with that flooding. And we could see this problem into early next week. And I'll be tracking that right here for, uh, for us. 30% chance of a shower today across the Cayman Islands. And then you see some locations drier. Trinidad and Tobago, that rain chance is very low. Barbados, only a 10% chance. Same thing as we work our way back towards St. Lucia, and I'll be monitoring the uh, earthquake activity, of course. 10 to 20% chance through Grenada. You see how this is very low, mainly dry. St. Vincent and the Grenadines over at least the next three days. A little bit higher in Martinique. You see by tomorrow, we're up to about a 30% chance. And as I mentioned earlier, builds a little bit on Monday as we work our way into Dominica and Guadeloupe. Rain chance about 40%. We could see a few more showers around Dominica and and Guadalupe. Same thing Antigua and Barbuda with the front skimming by to the uh, north. We could see some of those spotty showers, 30 to 40 percent chance. St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat. And you see Anguilla and St. Bart's tomorrow and Monday, a 30 to 40 percent chance. We do that again. St. Martin, St. Ben Station, not a lot today but a better chance of at least a few passing showers tomorrow into Monday. And Monday in Puerto Rico, the rain chance will bump up to 50%. And we'll see some spotty showers around, as I mentioned earlier, U.S. and British Virgin Islands. Bahamas, Southern Bahamas, as we work our way back toward the Turks and Caicos, that's where that rain chance is high or some of that moisture lifting through. And you see in the Dominican Republic, a 40% chance today. By Monday, though, up to about a 60% chance. And watching out for some of that increased rain as well in Haiti. Not as much as we're going to see in Jamaica, but there's still going to be some of that rain kind of feeding in parts of Haiti and the Dominican Republic over the next uh, three days. Meanwhile, Belize, the rain chance is low, a uh, 20% chance. Aruba, 
Carousel and Bonaire, that rain chance staying low, about a 30% chance of a passing shower uh, by tomorrow. We work our way into Guyana, 40 to 50% chance, a 60% chance in Suriname Northern and Central sections. East Cuba, that's where we could see some of the rain, not a whole lot central and western sections. Costa Rica and Panama running at about a 40% chance, a 30% chance in the next couple of days in Nicaragua, a 30% chance as well the next couple of days in Honduras in mainly dry Guatemala and El Salvador, mainly dry across uh, Mexico City. That quake in Acapulco, that was felt in Mexico City yesterday. Yucatan Peninsula, rain chance on the very low side, 50% chance in northern Colombia. Could see some areas of flooding. Rain chance build some as we work our way into northern Venezuela. And then tomorrow, with that front moving by, the very high chance of rain in Bermuda. I was showing you that earlier. We work our way through Orlando. Could see a couple showers uh, late today into tonight, looking at about a 40% chance in parts of Florida, and an isolated chance tomorrow into Monday across South Florida, Miami, uh, back through Fort Myers, back into the Florida Keys, uh, Tampa Bay, where, or the Tampa Bay area, uh, Tampa and St. Petersburg, 40% chance of some spotty showers today with that front moving by. Meanwhile, over toward much of Texas, Houston, uh, we're on the uh, dry side. So heavy areas of rain pointing to Jamaica, watching that. I mentioned parts of East Cuba, Haiti, the DR, Turks and Caicos, Southern Bahamas, but Jamaica in particular, flooding will be possible. Other areas that I was mentioning in the Eastern Caribbean, very dry. So we'll be watching those uh, drought conditions and of course, monitoring that earthquake activity. So thank you for being part of this weather community. I hope you're doing well. Be watching your comments throughout the day. Have a good Saturday ahead.